Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics. In this video, we will learn about the basics of electronic oscillator. What is an oscillator? An oscillator is something that creates oscillations, which involves periodic fluctuations between two states or values. A clock pendulum is a simple type of mechanical oscillator. In electronic engineering, we discuss about the oscillations in voltages that are fluctuating between two values. An oscillator is a circuit that generates a continuous repetitive waveforms without any external input. Here this oscillator creating sinusoidal oscillations. So it is known as sinusoidal oscillator. Oscillators can produce non-sinusoidal waves like square wave, triangular wave and etc. The electronic oscillators are used in wide range of applications like watches, music systems, computers, buzzers and many other electronic devices. An oscillator receives DC voltage as an input and produces AC signal of desired frequency. An oscillator can produce waves from few hertz frequencies to extremely high frequencies of several gigahertz. As we know that frequency is nothing but number of cycles per second. Here it is 3 cycles per second. So it is 3 hertz frequency. Likewise if number of cycles in a second are 6 then it's 6 hertz frequency if 12 cycles per second then it is 12 hertz frequency oscillators are capable of producing frequencies from few hertz to several gigahertz to construct an oscillator circuit just take a capacitor and charge this capacitor by connecting DC voltage source. After the capacitor is fully charged, disconnect the DC voltage source. Now if you connect this charged capacitor across an inductor, you will see a beautiful energy exchange takes between the capacitor and inductor. The sequence of repeated charge and discharge happens between capacitor and inductor. This results alternating motion of electrons. Here this LC circuit can produce electrical oscillations of frequency determined by the values of L and C. Here is the another oscillator circuit using 5 timer IC. This circuit can produce square wave signals up to 1 megahertz. We will go into details how to construct desired oscillator circuit in upcoming videos. Practically the oscillator circuits are nothing but amplifier circuit which are provided with a positive feedback. So let's understand the working principle of an oscillator. When an input sinusoidal signal is applied to an amplifier, the input signal will get multiplied by the gain of the amplifier and we will get amplified signal at the output. Here A is the gain of the amplifier. Now if we apply this output signal V out as an input to the feedback circuit, Usually the feedback circuit used in an oscillator to be a frequency selective circuit or the resonant circuit. Let's say the output of this feedback circuit is Vf. So this Vf can be written as beta times output voltage that is equal to A beta times of the input voltage. Here this beta is nothing but the feedback fraction and it defines what fraction or how much of the output voltage is reapplied as a feedback to the input stage. Now if there is zero phase shift between this input signal and feedback signal's output then in that case the feedback signal is in phase with the input signal. Now if we connect this feedback signal's VF to the input signal we will get a positive feedback at the oscillator input. So the input signal becomes V in plus VF. In this case this circuit can be defined as an amplifier with positive feedback. Now if we disconnect this input signal V in applied to the amplifier input, this feedback signal Vf will acts as an input to this amplifier circuit. So after removing this input voltage, whether we will get the sustained oscillations or not depends on the product of this A and beta and it is known as the loop gain of the oscillator. 
parameter. So, if this loop gain A beta is less than 1, in that case, the electrical oscillation's amplitude will go on decreasing over a period of time and will die out after a particular time. These type of oscillations are called damped oscillations. So, let's say in this particular circuit, A beta is equal to 0.6 and the input voltage V in equals to 3 volts. Hence, whenever this input signal passes through this amplifier and the feedback circuit, then the feedback signal Vf will becomes 3 volts multiplied with 0.6 that is equals to 1.8 volts. Once we remove this input voltage, then this feedback Vf 1.8 volts becomes input of this circuit. Hence, whenever this input signal passes through this loop, then the input signal again reduced by the factor of 0.6. So, in this way, every time this input signal passes through this loop, the amplitude of the output signal will reduce. And after a particular time period, the oscillations in the circuit will die out. These type of oscillations are called damped oscillations. Similarly, whenever this A beta is greater than 1, at that time, whenever the input signal passes through the loop, the amplitude of the output signal will increase. Hence, we can say that the oscillations in the circuit will build up and after a particular time period, they will reach the level of VCC of the oscillator circuit. So, as you can see here, in both the cases, whether A beta is lesser than 1 or greater than 1, we are not getting the sustained oscillations. The sustained oscillations are only possible whenever this loop gain A beta is equals to 1. So, when A beta is equals to 1, at that time, the feedback signal Vf will be same as the input signal. Hence, in that case, we will get sustained oscillations at the output. These type of electrical oscillations whose amplitude remains constant with time are called undamped oscillations. Hence, in oscillations, oscillator to get sustained oscillations at the output, the two conditions must get satisfied. First one, the loop gain of the circuit A beta must be equals to 1. Second one, the phase shift of the loop gain must be equals to 0. It means there must be a positive feedback with zero phase shift in the circuit. These two criteria are known as Barkhausen criteria of the oscillator circuit. But here we have assumed that before switching on the oscillator, we have to apply some starting voltage to the oscillator. But practically, if we observe, no such type of signals are applied to this oscillator. And still, we will get the oscillations at the output. Here, the question is how we are getting oscillations at the output without giving any input signal to the oscillator. Here is the answer. There are some sort of thermal noise is present in every circuit and this thermal noise contains many frequencies in it from few heads to several gigahertz. So initially whenever oscillator is turned on all frequencies of the thermal noise will get amplified by the amplifier. An amplified output of the thermal noise will be given as an input to the feedback circuit. As I have said earlier, this feedback circuit is frequency selective circuit. So out of all frequencies, only few signals of particular frequency will get passed by this feedback circuit. And out of these few frequencies, only one particular frequency does have zero phase shape, while all the other frequencies will have a different phase shape. So this only one particular frequency which have zero phase shift will get added with the input noise. And in this oscillator circuit, Initially, the loop gain A beta is set slightly greater than 1. And because of this, the noise signal of a particular frequency which has zero phase shift will get build up over a period of time and once the signal reaches certain voltage level at that time the loop gain of the circuit will becomes one it is possible because of the non linear behavior of either amplifier or the feedback circuit and in this way 
we will get sustained oscillations at the output. So this is the basic working principle of the oscillator. We have seen two criteria for sustained oscillations and these two criteria can be proved mathematically. Let's say the output of the feedback circuit is VF and this feedback signal will get added with the input signal. So here our input signal will be V in plus beta multiplied with V out and at the output we will get this amplifiers gain a multiplied with v in that is v in plus beta v out so here v out equals to a v in plus a beta v out let's simplify this equation v out minus a beta v out equals to a v in here we can take this v out as common so v out in brackets 1 minus a beta equals to a v in that can be written as v out divided by v in that equals to a divided by 1 minus a beta now here in this oscillator we are not providing any sort of input signal and still we are getting oscillation it means a beta in the circuit should be equal to 1 so that this condition will get fulfilled hence from this derivation we can say that the loop gain must be equal to 1 and there must be zero phase shift to be introduced by the feedback circuit. So in this way we can mathematically prove these two criteria. Now as I have said before the feedback circuits used in the oscillators are frequency selective circuit. This feedback circuit can be made up of either RL RC or RLC component and even the quartz crystals can be used for the frequency selection in the feedback circuit. So depending on the type of feedback circuit used in an oscillator, the oscillators can be classified as either RC oscillator, LC oscillator or crystal oscillator. The oscillators which are mentioned here are the sinusoidal oscillators because the output of these oscillators are sinusoidal waveform while some oscillators provides different kinds of waveforms like square waves, triangular waves and etc. These type of oscillators are known as relaxation oscillators. The relaxation oscillators can be designed using opamp are the timer ICs like 555 timer. We will discuss design of the various type of oscillators in upcoming videos. That's all about basic design and working principle of an oscillator. If you have learned from this video, please do mention them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. Help others to learn by sharing this video. Please subscribe and turn on notifications for more such videos. Have a nice day.